Hey Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.6, .6, number nine, and here we needed to solve for b. And when I take a look at this, I've got an exponential equation because I can see my variable is up here in my exponent. And they've got different exponents, right? You see 3b, 2b, and 2 minus b. And that's all fine and good, but really what we wanna do is we wanna get the bases to be the same so that we can set up an equation involving just the exponent. So when I look at these bases here, I see 36, 36, and 216. And those might initially not look like they have the same base of this, this power here, but they do because 36 is six squared and 216 is, oops, three cubed is not true six cubed. So these are all base six, right? I can see that this is base six. And so I want to rework this exponential equation. All right, let me write exponential equation. Let's go ahead and get everything in the same base. And that's what you're going to see me doing here. So you see me rewriting 36 as six squared and 216 is six cubed. And then when you have a power raised to a power, you're gonna multiply those exp uh, multiply those exponents. So two times three B is six B, two times two B is four B, and two times, excuse me, three times two minus B, don't forget to distribute, it's six minus three B. And then moving on from there, when you have a fraction, and you've got powers on the numerator and denominator and the bases are the same, you subtract those exponents. So that's what I'm doing there. And then what's cool is I have this exponential equation and the bases are the same. So if you have an exponential equation and the bases are the same, then the exponents have to be the same. So the cool thing about that, oh, JK, it looks like the first thing I did, I, I mess, not messed up, I forgot, I, 6b minus 4b can simplify to 2b. So now let me go through my spiel again. When you have an exponential equation and the bases are the same, then you know that the exponents have to be the same, and that is a much nicer equation to solve, and I get b is equal to 6 fifths. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.